hello welcome to SSR plugin video tutorial this tutorial you will see how to use the student result plugin as a client database so we will configure the plugin for store clients information as you can see this plugin has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and one for image so add a new page for client information short code okay we publish it okay here the search box well this is the default setting page of the plugin you see all default data are here so we will customize it for client information and here the 13 fields we will use national ID number, full names date of birth, telephone number, occupation client MSO, branch, gender, response name mobile number, current residence type of business Marital status, name of field officer. Okay. The important thing you should uh, take care of that is the th uh, in the 13 field there are two custom fields are here. You see the CGPA and the subject, both are custom fields. Here the custom fields, subject and CGPA. So we have to use two fields as custom post. you see number one is national ID number two is full name third one is date of birth fourth is telephone number fifth is occupation sixth is clients IMSO branch this is the custom post and gender gender will be here so it, this is the second custom post okay I'll customize now this is client's national ID number uh, copy paste this is our primary key it's mandatory it can be blank telephone number occupation and this is fast custom post the custom post uh, is in sixth field also you see here is another field for custom post this is the past custom post slug here so we change it now you see it's change look at the second one second one also change you see A subject will be gender Okay, we can customize more. This will uh, not be online result system anymore. It's um, client information. And star, um, enter registration ID will be national ID number. You know where you find this enter registration ID? It's here. You see? Yeah, this one. No result. Um, I will keep it unchanged. And a student will be client. Menu page name will be client information. You see? It's changing. Add client 
information okay I think we're done let's save it okay let's check now you can see there is no student anywhere everywhere is client no client in database what we have changed is here now we will change the custom post the previous custom posts are here we can change it from here now uh, you can use it for client information you can check all client here you see no client is here all clients and gender we don't need this anymore let's add some mail and I'm the one is female now check it you can see gender you see it's female and male now well this is the end of the tutorial thank you for using my plugin please leave feedback thank you